If sampling indicates varroa mite levels in your colonies are high enough to exceed thresholds or cause concern, consider treatments that fit within your integrated pest management strategy. For more information on integrated pest management and mite thresholds, see the Tools for Varroa Management Guide and the Introduction and Sampling Methods videos in this series. This video shows when and how to apply formic acid to control elevated varroa mite populations. For U.S. beekeepers, the only legal formic acid product is MiteAway Quick Strips, or MAX, a biodegradable gel strip of 46.7% formic acid. In Canada, both MAX and 65% formic acid liquid are legally permitted. You can use MAX and formic acid at any point in the colony's seasonal phases, even when honey supers are present. They are less effective during the dormant phase. Always read the product labels to make sure that you are applying these products properly and safely. When using formic acid, wear proper clothing, goggles, and acid-resistant gloves. You can apply either a full dose or half dose of MAX. For the full dose, carefully cut open the MAX package and place two biodegradable gel strips on the top bars of the brood box, approximately two inches apart. Stagger the strips so they extend across the box. Place the strips on the top bars if you are using a single hive body, or between hive bodies if you are using two boxes. Leave the bottom entrance and any top entrances to the hive fully open. MiteAway quick strips work best between 50 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. If temperatures are above 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius, consider adding an upper entrance or extra hive body, especially for the first two days of treatment. This reduces bee bearding and possible negative effects on the brood or queen that may occur when using MAX at higher temperatures. For the half dose treatment, use one strip for seven days, then remove it and wait 14 days or longer before adding the second strip. You can continue single strip treatments at two to six week intervals throughout the season. Leave the strips in place for seven days. Then you can either remove them or leave them for the bees to remove. There is no toxic residue. Do not repeat two-strip treatment again for at least one month. Treat all colonies in the apiary at the same time. Formic acid is a relatively easy to use mite fumigant that works with a single application of seven days. Unlike other miticides, it penetrates capped brood cells to kill mites that are feeding on pupae. It is most useful in the population increase phase and during population decrease when colonies are reducing their brood and adult population. To apply the 65% formic acid liquid, which is permitted in Canada only, soak the liquid into an absorbent pad or paper towel. Because formic acid liquid is highly caustic, it is essential to use proper protective clothing, goggles, acid-resistant gloves, and a respirator. Then, place the pad or towel on the top bars. Remove the pad or towel after seven days. Thanks for watching this video from the Honey Bee Health Coalition. Visit honeybeehealthcoalition.org and download the Tools for Varroa Management Guide, which has more detailed information on all the topics in this video series. All videos are provided free of charge, and we encourage you to share them.